What's going on guys, Nick here from Akari Gaming, bringing you another video today. Um, what you're going to watch is on myself playing Domination on the map Evac. Um, kind of a slower gameplay, I think on the second half it speeds up, but uh, it's not too shabby. Anyway, just bringing you guys a new commentary. It's hella late right now, it's Friday. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be going to the airport. Well, I guess not even tomorrow, I guess technically in like four hours. We're going to be leaving for the airport. I have an early morning flight to Las Vegas. Um, I usually go to Vegas <laughs> four to five times a year, but there's always one week we make sure we go, and that's always on uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Um, it's something I've been doing with my dad for the last five, six years. Um, it's something I really do enjoy. Uh, in my family, we're kind of big in sports gambling. My dad's really big in it. He goes probably like ten times a year to Vegas, but he's really good. Um, I think I've been with him once where he's actually like had a bad weekend. Usually he makes uh, a decent amount of money. He's been doing it for a long time, so I've been learning a few tricks from him, and ever since then, uh, like I said, the last few, few years, five, six years, I've been going to Vegas, and I try to place my own luck on making some good uh, Super Bowl bets. And ironic enough, I've been five for five the last, uh, you know, the last five years, obviously. Um, last year, I had the Patriots, and I was scared to death, but they ended up getting that interception on the goal line, which ultimately kept me, uh, you know, from losing. I ended up winning that money, and ended up being a great trip. But uh, this year it's a little different because we're gonna go and, of course, as you guys all know, it's the Denver Broncos versus the Carolina Panthers, and the Broncos. They're, I mean, they're my team. They're in my city. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be rooting for them. Um, and I also really do believe they are going to win, just based off, like, I'm going off of, you know, gambling knowledge and just, I'm not trying to be a homer. I'm trying to actually do my homework on this game, because I plan on putting a good amount of money on it. Um, it seems like everybody and their mother right now is taking Carolina Panthers, which I kind of don't blame them. They are the hot team going in, but I don't know. There's a lot of matchups in this game that I really feel like favor the Broncos. So, basically... Um, if you guys don't know how gambling works on teams, you don't. You, there is really no just straight pick them. You can't just be like, oh, here's a hundred bucks on Denver to win, and then you think you're gonna get your hundred dollars back. So that's not how it works. Um, most times when you go, people bet on spreads. So for instance, the spread right now is Denver plus five and a half. So what that means is before that game even starts, Denver is getting is the game starts. Um, it's Denver five and a half. Carolina zero. So let's say there's only one. I mean, it's not going to happen. Let's say like there's only one field goal in the entire game. Uh, let's say the Panthers score the field goal um, and they beat the Denver Broncos three nothing in the Super Bowl. Technically, although Carolina won, I still win my bet because I was getting five and a half points. So hopefully that helps you guys like understand the philosophy of you know gambling. And there are different ways. Sometimes you can do a straight bet. But like in this case, like if you're gonna do a straight bet, and let's say Carolina's a favorite. If you bet, like in order for you to win a hundred dollars, you'd have to bet like four hundred and fifty. So by giving the casino four hundred and fifty bucks, the most you'll win is a hundred dollars, which is just fucking ludicrous. Don't do that. <laughs> but anyway, um I have the Denver Broncos uh, covering the spread this trip, and I kinda think they're gonna win this damn game. Most people are gonna say no. But I really do believe they're going to win this game. Um, I think Denver's number one, you know, the number one defense in the league. I really think that their secondary is going to be, you know, really strong to go against. Who I think Carolina's receivers. I know they've heard this all year, but I think the receiving core Carolina Panthers is just fucking garbage. And it's funny because they have two like my, two like my favorite players from Ohio State. I'm a big Ohio State guy, and Ted Good Jr. and uh, Philly Brown. I just don't see them matching up well against the secondary of Denver, especially since Denver's going to have T.J. Ward and uh, the other safety, Stewart, healthy and ready to play. It just, I think it's a bad matchup. And then you ultimately have to, like, remember that you got Von Miller, Demarcus Ware, Derek Wolf, and Malik Jackson on that front four, and you have some really fast linebackers, man. So, I mean, even if that pocket does collapse and Cam has to run, I don't see him getting far. I feel like they're going to have a spy on him. That's just my thoughts. <laughs> Um, now, you know, I could be wrong. I mean, Carolina, they have a really good rushing game. I just think that the most dangerous thing on the field when it comes to Carolina is Cam Newton. 
In the last two games in the playoffs, he really hasn't done much with his feet, so that should be interesting. He hasn't really had to, though, so that's going to be really interesting. Um, on the other side of the ball, it's when it gets scary for Denver. Carolina has a hell of a front seven, and I really do think that they can cause some problems for this Denver Broncos offense. But if they don't, I mean, you got to figure Manning's going to be throwing these like four to five yard out passes, and I think that he's going to have those all day because minus Norman, I think the Carolina secondary is extremely weak. You got Coleman from Ohio State, who is another guy I really like. Uh, Roman Harper, and then uh, there's no Tillman. I forgot the I forgot the the backup guy on the other side of the cornerback for the Panthers. But either way, I really think that matches up for Denver. But if he if there's no time for Manning to throw the ball, then it's really not going to matter at all. Not to mention, if Manning throws some interceptions or we got a couple of fumbles, it could be game over real fast because. It's just, it, this does not work out well, as we've seen all year with Manning. But I really think he's going to go out like John Elway did. It, it just, everything says that to me. And it could be that, you know, I'm from Denver, but when it comes to gambling, you have to throw that all out the, <laughs> out the window. For instance, when they played uh, the Seahawks two years ago and got smoked. Man, it was like, it was a bad bet. My dad, my dad from the get-go uh, went from Seattle. He was praying that he was wrong, but he went to Seattle. I took Denver and ended up having to do in-game wagering to like get my money back plus a bunch of it because people still thought Denver were going to come back, but it was over after that first play break, basically. But yeah, I do have the Denver Broncos. I think it's going to be a three-point game regardless of the outcome, so I see Denver winning it. I mean, three to four, so I see Denver winning it 28 to 24. Could be wrong. You never know. It's gambling for a reason. You're flipping a coin. There's really... You can do all the the homework you want in the end, the games would uh, decide the outcome. I have Denver winning 28-24, but regardless, I can't see Carolina, I don't see Carolina dominating this game like everyone says, not against this defense. So ultimately I think it's going to be 28-24 Denver, but let's say Carolina does win, I don't see them covering the spread, which is why when I go to Vegas, I plan on taking the Denver Broncos getting the points. It's always, in a Super Bowl especially, there's so many close games, there's very little it's very rare to have like a blowout like we did two years ago. Mind you, it seems like Denver seems to always be on that bad end of the blowouts. But it's really rare to see like a just a team get killed. As you've seen like all the Patriots games, they win by a field goal. Um, when the Giants were beating the Patriots, those were like what less than seven point games. So you never really see like an ass kicking, which is why when you're getting something like five and a half to even I'm hearing like six and a half points. It just, as a gambler and someone who's done a lot of sports betting, it just makes sense to get the points. It it doesn't hurt. And also, you know, you never know. Like the Carolina hasn't been on the stage before. Like they've never been like on this kind of game. Cam's never done it. Most of those guys on that team haven't. Although Denver did lose to Seattle, they got a lot. I mean, they have some guys coming back that you know they've been there. They understand what happened. Mind you, also in that Seattle game. Um, I think there's two people on that Denver defense that were there against Seattle, and that was uh, Chris Harris. Uh, Von Miller was hurt, and I think there was a linebacker, like Marshall was there. Beside that, these dudes were all new, so like uh, Tlaib, uh, DeMarcus Ware, TJ Ward, Stewart, these are all new, uh, new faces for this game, so I just really think that Denver is going to give the Panthers a way, way harder time than people are really giving them credit for. I think they're going to surprise a lot of people. But anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching me ramble about the Super Bowl. If you're not into sports, I apologize. I'll try to find some better topics, but since I'm going there tomorrow for this game, it just made perfect sense to probably just, you know, give my input. I'm a big football guy, as you'll <laughs> you'll come to learn. But uh, this has been your boy, Akar Warlord, a.k.a. Nick. I hope you guys have a great night. Uh, stay safe, have fun, watch the Super Bowl, let me know who you have in the comment section below, and I will talk to you guys when I get back from Vegas. Have a good one.